Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 2nd of 2023. Well, it is titled the Fornax Cluster of Galaxies. So what do we see here? Well, this is what is called the Fornax Cluster of Galaxies and galaxy clusters are named after the constellation in which they happen to be present. So another prominent one is the Virgo Cluster in the constellation of Virgo. This one in the southern sky in the constellation of Fornax. And as you take a look around the image, almost every object that you're seeing here is a galaxy within that cluster. All of these little splotches that we see, little extended objects are all galaxies that are part of the Fornax cluster. Now the dominant ones and in, in clusters, the dominant galaxies tend to be elliptical galaxies. They can become very large and dominate the rest of the cluster. So we see prominent ones down toward the bottom here, the large giant elliptical present down there uh, at the bottom as one of the most prominent galaxies within this cluster. Now, of course, other galaxies will stand out as well as you look and there's some that have some interesting structures. And in fact, we see a spiral galaxy out toward the edge there, very prominent one in the upper right hand side. And that is a barred spiral galaxy. Now the spiral galaxies tend to tend to stay toward the edge of the clusters. And that's we believe that's because the more closer they are to the center, the more interactions there are, the more collisions there are between galaxies and spiral galaxies can be disrupted by these collisions and eventually turned into elliptical galaxies. So in a massive collision of two spiral galaxies, those two galaxies can exhaust all of their gas and dust in a massive burst of star formation and can completely disrupt their structures, eventually forming into an elliptical galaxy like the one below. Now this is one of the things that we think will happen with our own Milky Way and the Andromeda galaxy when they collide in about 5 billion years or so that they could become so disrupted that there would then be an, an, an elliptical galaxy within in our own local group. Now there are some small elliptical galaxies what are called dwarf ellipticals but in terms of the much larger objects we do not see any large elliptical galaxies in our very small cluster. But when you get to the larger clusters such as the Virgo cluster and the Fornax cluster that we see here the elliptical galaxies will eventually become the most prominent galaxies within that cluster. So that was our picture of the day for November 2nd of 2023. It was titled the Fornax Cluster of Galaxies. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be opposite the sun. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.